Let me show you how to rename many project items at once in Premiere Pro with automation blocks. And to make this boring topic super exciting, we will also use some artificial intelligence. So stay tuned. Here I have these concert items in my Premiere Pro project and they are actually JPEGs. But somehow, probably since I renamed them manually somehow, they don't have a JPEG suffix anymore. I can fix this quickly with the Append to Project Item Names tool of the extension Automation Blocks. Here, as text after, I just enter .jpeg, make sure my items are all selected and run the tool. If I enter the text final now and note that I entered a space before the final and run the tool again, you can see that this is also appended to the name but before the suffix jpeg. This is because I have this option here enabled. If I would deactivate it, the final would be placed after the jpeg. You can also insert text before the original name, but let's not waste any time and instead show you also the tool search and replace and project item names. The basic function is very obvious here too. You can for example search for final and replace it by v2 and all names update accordingly. By default the tool only processes selected project items but you can also uncheck this box to process everything in your project. Also by default the search is case sensitive. Since reality is not always as easy as these simple examples, let's take a look at this super powerful option to allow regular expressions and see how we can use artificial intelligence to help us. Here I have some Adobe stock images and let's try to do some search and replace on those numbers here. So instead of searching for a fixed text, we search for a pattern, which matches all those numbers using regular expressions. If you know how to write regular expressions, great. If not, no problem. Let's ask ChatGPT. We ask, please give me a regular expression in JavaScript syntax, which matches an underscore followed by any number. And here is ChatGPT's answer. This text between the two slashes is always a pattern we are looking for. But before we copy it, let's take a look at the explanation to see if it's really what we need. Here it says the pattern matches an underscore followed by a single digit. If you want to match more than one digit after the underscore, you can modify the expression to this. Okay, so since we need more than one digit, we copy this one instead. Make sure to always copy only the part between the two slashes without the slashes themselves. So we paste the pattern in the search box, select the first few images and make sure allow regular expressions is enabled. Now if we keep the replace text empty and run the tool, it matches all the numbers with leading underscores and removes them. Now let's say we don't want to delete the numbers, but want to reuse our numbers in the replace text. For this, we need to store them in so-called capturing groups. So let's ask ChatGPT to add those. I want the version which supports multiple digits. Could you please put the number into a capturing group? ChatGPT often generates sample code how to use the expression. But we can ignore that and again just copy the part of the expression between the two slashes. We paste it into the search field and if you compare the new pattern with the old one, you notice that it has those parentheses which puts the digits into the capturing group. Since the pattern has only one pair of parentheses, we only have one group and this one can be accessed by $1. So if we enter as replace text in square brackets $1 for example and run the tool, you can see that the digits are now placed in square brackets. With these clips here, I want to show you how to create regular expressions with ChatGTP based on examples. Um, can you give me a regular expression in JavaScript syntax which matches the strings like ASC101H1 and ASC103H2? and puts the numbers into capturing groups. And here is our result. So let's copy it to the clipboard. Since we have two capturing groups this time, we can use $1 and $2 to access them. If we enter here Africa $2-$1 for example and run the tool, the item names now all start with Africa followed by the numbers which the items also had before. But this time the second number comes first since we have the $2 before the $1 here. As you can see, with regular expressions, you have endless possibilities to rename project items. And ChatGPT can create expressions for literally anything. But this is only one of many workflow tools of automation blocks. So make sure to explore the library to find more tools which make your life in Premiere Pro easier.